my brothers and sisters. What is missing in our courts is something I alluded to in January this year when I spoke at the launch of the Honorable the Chief Justice's strategic blue plan, br blueprint and vision. I said then, Honorable Deputy Chief Justice, and I will say it now, that the success of that vision that we launched was dependent on our ability to recognize, name and embrace the strength and the virtues of the day which we identified as the three C's of courage, collegiality, and civility. These are the intangible blocks that hold us together and hold the moral high ground which we as judges must always operate. And in my time as president of the Court of Appeal, I have seen perhaps that without these three C's, they're certainly more difficult to procure and install master and mentor in others than all the architectural plans, the construction materials, the computer hardware and software that we have procured to build new courts and to make our courts more efficient. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, our individual and collective courage as judges of the court is always under threat from numerous forces. And even perhaps more discouraging is the fact that our collegiality seems to be even more wanting. Again, last year when I stood before you and spoke at this conference on the theme of enhancing public confidence in the judiciary, I brought up the issue of trust because without trust, nothing can be more fundamentally required in achieving collegiality. I asked each one of us to examine ourselves, to think about how best we can maintain trust between and amongst us, how we can rebuild the moral hygiene of our distinguished institution. And I humbly urged that we ask ourselves every single day, is there a better way in which I can work with my colleagues to enhance efficiency, to discourage ill will, to secure public confidence, and be truly, truly officers of justice? A year has gone by, and I cannot say that I have seen a marked growth in the levels of the trust of this distinguished congregation of judges. I am unable to draw in a smart matrix that captures an, in an increase in the levels of trust. I cannot only say, honestly say that our collegiality is robust and at an all-time high. And I'm sorry, brothers and sisters, I cannot say with any degree of credibility that we have become any better at keeping our heads closely knit together in robust debate and enriching feedback to and from one another. I cannot say that. I do not see us looking for one another as each other's keeper. Can we honestly say, truly, my brothers and sisters, that the enemies of cartels, corruption, tribes, the church, corporate forces, family, 
mistresses? Can we say that these are not amongst our very core? And now as we look to the general election, barely a month away, I crave your understanding that we must close ranks. We must be fruits of one tree and leaves of one branch and deal with one another with the utmost love and harmony in collegiality, courage, and civility. And you don't need this bold-headed judge to tell you that an election in Kenya has the potential to rock our very foundations. It must not rock us as judges of all the courts, because it must find us unrockable. We must, as again I said in January, rise above the common tendencies of loud discord and abrasive public exchanges precisely because we are the final arbiter in all disputes, be they personal, local, corporate, electoral, or constitutional. Civility must and is our guide. Civility is our shield. And to be civil is to be caring and compassionate, confident, correct, yet very firm in our handling all resources, including human resources. The person next to you, shake his or her hand, please. <clears throat> My brothers and sisters, My brothers and sisters, honorable judges, my dear brothers and sisters, it is at a time like this that one is reminded in the play Julius Caesar when a passionate Cassius, determined to hold Caesar's ruthless ambitions, says to the somewhat hesitant, wavering Brutus, the fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves, that we are underlings. Indeed, in this testing moment that lies ahead of us, we must not be underlings who scatter to the four winds, divided, quarrelsome, lacking in vision, courage, civility, and collegiality. No, 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 my dear sisters and brothers. We must find in us and rise above all this to find and use wisely the missing bits. Baha'u'llah, the prophet founder of the Baha'i, says so wisely that so powerful is the light of unity that it can illuminate the whole earth. We must unite and illuminate Kenya. Our light cannot die out now when the nation needs us more than ever before to shield it, to do right by it, to build it, to restore it to oneness. Our light cannot die out because we are too small to value one another, too myopic to trust one another, too bogged down in the ill will and 
too ruthless in our individual ambitions to agree to grow together. We must find our way back to faith, back to believing in one another, because in the words of a modern poet from my, genera my generation, Elvis Presley, <laughs> we're caught up in a trap we can't go on together with suspicious minds. <laughs> and we can't build our dreams on suspicious minds. <laughs> I urge you, my brothers and sisters, to trust one another and stand with one another no matter how difficult it might be to walk away from old hurts, recent suspicions, and future innuendo. And let me close, perhaps, this time with another modern poet, but from the generation of my children, Mariah Carey. <laughs> She says, who knows what miracles you can achieve when you believe? You will win when you believe. Honorable Deputy Chief Justice, as we look to the Honorable the Chief Justice's vision and his blueprint for us, as we look to the theme of this year's conference, and indeed to the future, one sees a rainbow between storm and tempest. It is a rainbow of many colors, not only of races, tribes, skins and creeds, but also of traditions thoughts and ways, all awaiting to be bound together in a spirit of friendship, understanding, tolerance, respect, and love. <coughs> and then, shall we say, of our judiciary and of our country, as Shakespeare's John of Gaunt said of his country, oh, this land of such dear souls, this dear, dear land, this other Eden, demi paradise. But my sisters and brothers, Beyond that land where the rainbow ends is a crack of gold, pure, pure gold. And I believe that those of us in this room this morning who remain steadfast to the cause of justice, fairness, truthfulness, in courage, civility, and collegiality, they will see the rainbow's end. I truly believe that. And then shall we have rest. And then only, my brothers and sisters, Shall we have rest in the end? In the end.